Bonjour, it's Han. Welcome back it, uh, for the uh, continuation of the series on how to list your first item on Etsy to open your shop. So we just saw how to add a picture and now we're going to have to enter a title for our listing. So this here is a bit set and I think it has, uh, it's difficult to see here because of this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight beads. So I will enter a, a title which is descriptive. I will go into this uh, in more details later. Uh, right now, I just want to uh, fill the listing so that I can open the herb. Okay, so eight indigo blue uh, lamp work glass beads by Anne Londes. And uh, if this were my, a real listing, I would make use of all the characters that I uh, am allowed to use so as to maximize the chances of being found. But of course, I wouldn't use random words in the title. I would have to research very carefully which words uh, customers are looking for, which can be applied to my items. And this is, will be uh, the, the topic of many other videos later. OK, so who made this listing? I did. OK. So you can either sell things that you made or someone you work with made as long as you declared them in your Etsy shop setup or another company or person if it is either a supply or a vintage item. So if I did, you can you can see here what it is. It can be a finished product or a supply or tool. In this case, it would be a supply. When did you make it? I made it in uh, between two, 2010 and 2019. Okay, then you have to find which category your uh, listing will be in. So just type uh, glass beads here, just type general descriptive words, and Etsy will offer you different possibilities here. And in my case, uh, the one that is most relevant is glass beads in beads, so you can see it's craft supplies and tools, slash beads, gems and cabochons, slash beads, okay? It's important to pinpoint the um, the category accurately, because if you don't, and Etsy shows your item thinking that this is a good fit, it will use um, all these words as keywords, but people won't click on it if it's not a good fit for that category. And so Etsy will decide at some point that your uh, listing isn't interesting. OK, so make sure you uh, actually choose that wisely. OK, so you can see here that these are the keywords that will be added to my keywords to find my item. And then craft type, it's a tool or supply, so it's used for a craft. So bidding is automatically selected since it sits its beads. And uh, it can be used in jewelry making. Technically, it can be used in kids craft, but my beads are expensive. And I doubt anyone would use beads that expensive to use in kids craft. So I'm not going to select that because once again, it wouldn't be a good fit. Hat making and hair crafts, once again, it could, but not really. Macrame, yes, if you were going to include uh, uh, expensive beads in macrame, why not? OK, then you have the optional uh, uh, attributes here. So bid size is optional, bid hole size is optional, material is optional, although uh, if it's going to be displayed, I'd rather it uh, it be accurate. Uh, at the moment, Etsy doesn't actually use uh, the uh, these attributes in the search results, but it might change at any moment. So feel uh, as much as you can here. OK, drill style, it's center drill, so I can choose that number of strands. This doesn't really apply. Crimpable, obviously, no. Primary color here, it's blue. OK, secondary color is gray. OK, here. And shape. So in terms of beads, uh, I'm not going to enter that because uh, many people uh, have different descriptive descriptors for bead shapes. And so I feel 
it wouldn't fit exactly. Pattern, yes, it is mixed lot, yes, because they're all different. Fusible, yes, uh, but not in the in the sense that they actually mean. So I'm going to check no. Okay. And holiday. Okay, this is important enough uh, to warrant a new video. So I'll break here for today and I'll see you tomorrow for the next part where I'll explain what this holiday menu is. And um, don't forget to register before you go and check out the freebies we're given by my business coach Rene Christine, which are in the description. See you later. Au revoir.